What's up guys? Welcome back to a Trucker's Life. I am Jorge Navarro. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you've already subscribed, well, welcome back guys. And quick, before I get going, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to all my firefighters. Jeremy Hazel is in Japan. So shout out to him. Shout out to all his firefighter uh, brothers and sisters. Also shout out to um, Damon Guerrero, who's also a, he's a, well not also, because I'm an old YouTuber, but I'm old, not an old YouTuber. You know what I mean. Um, he's a young guy that's trying to get into YouTube. So go give him a little bit of, uh, go give him some love. I'll link it down below and you guys can go check out his channel. It is also a little bit about trucking. He does uh, videos for his father. So, and because his father is a truck driver. So shout out to Thomas Guerrero also, shout out to you. And don't forget guys, I do have the giveaway of the two little, uh, little stoves and the three, um, hats, not this hat, the, um, the one with the the blue ones with the the United States flag on the side. So I got those three that I'm going to give away, and the two um, stove tops. So let's get started on today's video. And today's video is why do I deadhead? Now let's get this going. Let's get this this thought thinking, right? Or this thought going, thought thinking. Boy, that's funny. Let's get this thought going. Um, key keyword on this on my first phrase though. Why do I decide to deadhead and this is the reason why I do it the reason I do it is because it doesn't make sense to sit in one place for so long so uh, let's let's just go this route let's go let's go ahead and do the math okay let's start with the math so the time that I deadheaded from New Jersey from New York right across from New York City all the way down to Houston Texas was because I was gonna end up sitting there four and a half days now you guys know it is extremely hot outside and yes i know new york new jersey i'm not sure new jersey i think also new jersey is a no idle state you know guess what i'm gonna idle the truck come give me a ticket because it is extremely hot and you can't expect us to be in these trucks without any air condition anyways so if we do the math a truck on average Wastes about a gallon, gallon and a half of fuel. Let's just round down to a gallon of fuel an hour while it's idling, right? So, gallon of diesel up in that area up there is a bridge two dollars and sixty cents a gallon. So, if you're gonna idle that truck for 24 hours, let's just do the math real quick, and I'll uh, I'm gonna I'll put it down here. So let's just do the math real quick. So, two dollars. This day it, it's it's two dollars. Uh, 2.50 okay times 24 gives you $60 to run that truck for 24 hours you times that of course by four and that's $240 to idle this truck for those four days a little over four days actually so it's we'll probably be closer to $250 to run that truck for those many days now Food is not cheap up in the Northeast, which nothing is. It is a beautiful place. I love seeing it, just not in a semi, but that's for another story. So, food is not cheap up there, so on average, you're gonna spend, let me go back to my calculator, on average, you're gonna spend about $30 a day if you're gonna be doing, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. $30 a day, which is on the low end, on the low end, depends on where you're at. So let's do $30 a day times four, $120. Okay, $120 plus the, what was the other one? $240. So all that totals to $360. Now, on top of that, you're wasting time that you could be, be spending with your family. Now, I spent $500, $450 to deadhead from New Jersey down to Texas. So what did I really save? What did I, what was I really gonna save by sitting there waiting for a load that was not even gonna pay anything? It wasn't even gonna pay, it was just gonna pay enough for me to come back to Texas and guess what? The load is pretty much done. I would be coming back to Texas without having um, spent any time with the family and immediately having to leave again. So does it make sense it did not for me to stay up there and that's why a lot of my deadhead time guys i don't just think about it that i'm just gonna go just because i'm angry or i want something else 
to change. The reason I do it is because I do the math, I spend the time, I do the math, and I figure out, you know what, I'm only gonna save, I'm only, you know, gonna save a hundred bucks. I know a hundred bucks is money. It's money in the long run for owner operators, every penny counts. Spending time with the family is what really counts for me. So, well, not actually just all spending time with the family, it's finding the correct balance between your job, your business, and your family. So that load that, that I was gonna bring back from New Jersey was paying um, $1,900. Then you take away their percentage, so um, it leaves you with about probably $1,600 once you get that. That's with fuel surcharge, right? So $1,600, you take away the $500 uh, worth of fuel that I would have, that I, that I would have, uh, you know, all the time that I would have spent up there. And then we come down to maybe profiting a little bit. Well, actually it was gonna, I was gonna waste more fuel coming back because coming back empty, I'm getting eight miles to the gallon. Coming back loaded with all the hills in Virginia, I was gonna be probably getting about six miles to the gallon. So that would have been even more fuel that I would have used. So it just didn't make sense to sit there for four days, four and a half days, for a load that was just gonna cover the truck. Now, let's go to the next point, is that I got a, being able to come home, so I was home, took me two, a day and a half to get back home, got home, which was, I think that was a Thursday, I got home Friday night, home Saturday, Sunday, and then I was able to get a load out of Houston that paid $3,500. So why would I have waited up there, lost precious family time, really not gained any money, at all it actually would have put myself back because if i hadn't been home at all i sat up there for four and a half days don't expect me to come back to texas where my family's at and just go ahead and leave again i want to spend at least a day or two with the family so that's why it just didn't make sense to me so being able to stay up there wait for the load come back be home on wednesday tuesday wednesday go home for a day or two the week is shot you're done so now you've just ruined two weeks instead of one now, it's very easy for a lot of you guys to say, well, you should have just waited it out. Times are tough. Well, n yes and no. Only because times are tough doesn't mean that any of these places can take advantage of you. I'm not saying that the company's taking advantage of me, but you just have to finally realize that you got to say no to things. I've always been a yes person. Yes, yes, yes. I got this load. Yes. Got this cheap load. Yes. I got this good paying load. Yes. It's always been yes, yes, yes. Well, the time has come for me to quit being that way. It's time for me to really outweigh, the, outweigh the, the, the pros and the cons. And why am I always just gonna stick myself out whenever I'm not getting any help or whenever I need it, they don't give it, but whenever they need it, of course I have to give it and I'm out there just doing what I have to do, right? So what would you guys do about this? What would you guys do in this situation? And that's not the, the only thing. The other thing, the other biggest reason is really that my dad is battling stage four colon cancer and I want to spend every time and minute and second that I can with him and also have a balance with work. That is just the real answer to all of this. Yes, money is important and sometimes you have to realize what you have to do to be able to spend the time that you have with the people that you love. Now, I don't normally, I didn't ever used to deadhead, never used to do that type of stuff. Well, because things were better back then. I have to understand that situation as well. Things are not as good right now. I know, things are actually terrible right now. I, I understand all that. But like I was saying earlier, not because of that reason, I'm just gonna be taken advantage of having to spend four and a half of my days out somewhere else without being with my family for really nothing at all. And then at the end of the day, getting a short, a load that doesn't even pay any money and it just doesn't make sense it just doesn't make sense to me so yes it is easy for some of you to say that well you do a lot of deadheading and yes lately i have been but they've always been for valid reasons because i'm going to be sitting for more than four and a half days and as you i just explained to you the math you're not really losing that much money to get home and you're actually gaining because you get home to reset because your terminal is gonna take care of you better than any other terminal out there. I have a great relationship with my dispatcher. He He's always the type of person that's a go-getter. He tries to do things for me. And actually with everything that's going on that you guys know about with me thinking about going other places, 
he actually, I sat down and talked to him. Well, I got on the phone and talked to him yesterday and I gave him a lot of uh, you know, things that were going on. He said, hold on, let me see what I can do. And guess what? We might have a resolution to stay here. Not, it's not etched in stone. I might not stay here anyways, even if they do come up with a solution, just because you guys know the, the situation with my father and I'm potentially able to make close to the amount of money that I'm making now anyways, working for somebody else. So there's a lot of things that I have to put together to make this decision. Now, one decision that I know that I will not make is I will never leave you guys. I love making this content for you guys and I know that things will change if I do more of a local type thing, which it's not really local, local. They go to Louisiana, Arkansas, stuff like that. And there will still be able, I'll still be able to make some content. It's gonna get a little redundant because it's gonna be uh, content of flat bedding in the same area so it's gonna be about the same hold that thought it's my dispatcher right there All right, and there you go that's my guy um anyways what i was saying you know building a relationship with your dispatcher is also a big thing now it's not a relationship where i'm going to pay you this to do this for me or do this for you to do this for me it's not like that and that's never how it should be because it has to be a level playing field for everybody. But if you're always in somebody's neck or always being rude to somebody, of course, they're going to push you aside. And if you always say yes to everything, which I have been in the past, not so much lately, you get help from the people that, that know your face other than Central. Central Dispatch does not know your face. They don't know who you are, so they can't build that relationship. And of course, our dispatchers at home can help you build that relationship because they see you all the time when you come in and you talk to them or whatever so things have not completely they're not completely over here they're not I'm still not gonna rule that out I'm still not ruling out leaving just because of the reasons that I just talked to you about is about that I need to be home more I need to be with the family but that is one conversation that I did have with the terminal manager he's gonna try to find something that I am home way more often and gonna be out and back loads and I will still be okay enough to pay the truck and make a little bit of money. So hopefully things do work out for us. If they don't, there really is not no hard feelings. I know that having to adjust to different drivers' schedules and home problems and stuff like that is real difficult sometimes for companies, but I think that, they're, that they actually can do something and I think that they probably will. If not, I will still have to end up going, which is no big deal. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys again for joining me one more time. Guys, anybody contemplating suicide, 1-800-273-8255. Military men and women, thank you so much for your service. See you guys on the next video. Peace. I'm out of here.